It's another week and we still have a ton of stuff. Let's go find some. We've got one, two, three, four, five 80s Fender Strats and another Strat Plus from 1995. Ooh, look at this. This is a 1970s court double neck. It's a six string and a 12 string and it's neck through. This is a really cool one. 1968 Hofner bass. This is a Mills custom hand wired tube head and matching cap. Finally, you don't have to choose between jazz and chorus. You can have both. Here's one you might remember. This is an Ibanez tube screamer head. So it's a tube head that has a tube screamer built into it. If we have any Gretsch fans watching, here's a really cool combo. This is a Korean made Gretsch that somebody hot rodded with the pinstripes, TV Jones pickups, and an upgraded Bigsby. So it's not much to look at from the front, but this is a vintage Gretsch Country Gentleman amp. So this is an all tube amp for Chet Atkins signature, and it has just the sweetest harmonic tremolo. If you've never been to the store, you've never seen our pedal section. Let's see what we got hanging out here. This is an Ibanez UE300. It's basically three pedals in one, stereo chorus, tube screamer, and compressor limiter. This is the cheapest way you'll ever get a vintage tube screamer. Here's one for the Earthquaker Devices fans. This is a Grim Reefer. They didn't make too many of these. This is number 10. This is one of my favorite pedals from Idiot Box. It's the No Moon. It's a Rat, Tube Screamer, and a Big Muff, all in one circuit, but they're all in parallel. Here's a Gibson Acoustic you probably haven't seen. It's an EC10 from 1997. It's its original blue finish from the factory. This is one of my favorites that we carry new. It's an Alvarez ABT60. It's a baritone acoustic that's pretty portable. 